Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all guys my simple everyday look. I've been rocking this since probably the beginning of this year. I actually have my favorite shirt on, favorite hairstyle, which is a slit back bun with some wavy edges. I've been rocking this a whole lot lately. lately. <laughs> These are the things I do when I don't feel like dressing up, when I don't feel like putting on it's actually a lot of makeup, so I'm not gonna say a lot of makeup. But when I don't feel like putting on any like false lashes and eyeshadow, this is what I go to. And right now, I'm just simply filling in my eyebrows. I have a whole video dedicated to eyebrows, like I'll go in depth about all that. So if you want a more in depth tutorial, go check out my videos and just keep on watching. And I'll be back shortly to explain my next step. And at this point, I'm just repeating the same thing I did onto this bra. And if I forget to mention any of the products in the video, like hold them up, just look down in the description box below and I'll list everything there, including my social media handles. You should check out my Instagram because I've been doing some pretty cool Halloween looks this year. Okay, and now I'm taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I think this is in the deepest shade, and I'm going to cover up my brows. I've been trying a new um, concealer to cover up my brows, and I actually like this one because it's closer to my skin tone, and it doesn't leave that like white or cast around my eyebrows because I can't get jiggy with that. If y'all see me looking around, it's because I'm actually watching YouTube videos. I think I was watching Raven, Raven Elise vlog that she did when she was in New York. And then I make a bunch of faces apparently when I don't approve of stuff like my eyebrows. And I actually have a little shit Tzu who was running around my room. So sometimes I look off at him. Two shades I'm pointing at. The darkest one I do at the very tail of my brow. And the brown one I fill in with the rest. Just to give it that ombre eyebrow I guess Okay, and now I'm taking my CoverGirl Shape and Define Eyebrow Gel and just setting all my eyebrow hairs in place. This gives my eyebrows more definition. Okay, now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 340 Cappuccino and I'm going to apply that to the back of my hand and take my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and stipple that all over it. I actually skipped primer today because in North Kakalaka it is getting cold outside and my skin is getting dry so primer is going to do nothing but make my foundation too oily or it's going to make it too dry and patchy so I just skipped that step, step altogether.
Okay, and now I'm going with that, my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Tulfi. And I'm just going to conceal underneath my under eyes, my eyelids, and around my mustache area. Because it's time for me to shave it. We all know those struggles. Okay, and now I'm taking my Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush, and I'm actually going to blend in my concealer with that. I like to blend in concealer with this brush. I actually like doing my foundation and concealer with this brush because it is fluffy, but it comes to a tapered tip, which is getting in really good in the, like, what is that, underneath my eyes and tight areas of my face. Okay, and then I'll go back in with my foundation brush with no additional product to make sure my foundation and concealer is happily married and blended in together. Alright, and now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in deep and I'm setting my entire face with this and I'm just using a powder brush. I actually don't know the name. I think it's a brush by Beauty Treats. I don't know. I'm not sure because I got it a set from also a while ago. And as you can see, I cussed a little bit because it's really crusty and I couldn't find my other one. But this is my Black Gradient Pressed Powder and it's in the shade Ebony and I use this to contour out my face. When I'm pinching my brush like that, I'm actually getting rid of dog hair because Bentley's hair is everywhere on everything. But I'm going in with the e.l.f. blending brush and actually blending out my contour for my nose. I figure using this eye brush is really good because it's round and it's for blending. So why not use a brush that's for blending to blend out your contour? Duh, common sense. I'm just going back with that powder brush I used with no additional product and just blending out my contour because I felt like it was a little too harsh and when you're satisfied with that you're supposed to move on to blush and highlight but I actually sprayed my face with some rose water I made simple solution if you want to know just let me know down in the co comments and I actually might make a video how to make it and this is the face of regret when I realized I didn't put my blush and highlight on and I'm using the Luxie 514 blush brush and I'm going in with my elf blush palette in dark and I'm put blush on depending on how much blush you can go um like you can go light or heavy but I like a lot of brush so I'll go really ham in it and as you can tell move on to my highlight I'm going to be mixing the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter and one of the Wet n Wild um, highlighters I know it's cleaning my canopy I really like the way these two look together when I mix them. it gives me like it looks like a wet look in my opinion so I mix those two and apply it to my nose my cheeks my forehead my eyes my whole body 
And after you finish all that, now is actually the time you're supposed to use your rose water and let that soak in all of the powders you know put into your face and let it dry before you move into your next step. Okay, and now I'm taking my Maybelline Falsy Push Up. I don't know what it is. It'll be down in the description with the lots below. But I'm just putting that on my eyelashes because I don't feel like I'm struggling with lashes right now. Okay, and now I'm actually going to be putting freckles, birthmarks, whatever you want to call them on my face because I actually do have them. I actually have moles on my face naturally. So I just wanted to bring them back to give it a more natural look. And I'm just going in with that powder from the BH Ultimate Brow Palette I have that I used on my eyebrows. And I'm using the brown shade. And then I'll go in with a liquid liner later and make some of my more deeper beauty marks darker. Okay, and I will go back in with that powder brush I use and just tap out some of that because it adds a layer and it makes it look like it's kind of underneath my skin. It makes the black I use not as black and more natural, which these really don't look natural because I'm trying to cover up some pimples, honestly. And then I go in and spray that rose water once again to soak that in. And I think next is lips. Got it. I was right. It was lips. And I'm actually using my dip brow once again now using my eyebrows and kind of just outlining my lips in it because I couldn't locate my brown lip liner. And I actually might do this a lot and I'm actually might need to stop saying actually. And then I go in with my NYX Butter Gloss and Madeline and I'll put that over top. And here I go again making random faces that I don't know what I'm doing, but this is the final look. Thank you for watching. Please come back again to my YouTube channel. And remember, peace, love, and a bottle of hair grease. Bye.